Ever since Russell T Davies returned to Doctor Who, he has made some ridiculous decisions such as retconning Davros's origins for identity politics purposes and attacking fans on social media when they present legitimate criticisms to him, as well as many others of course, but the one thing that he did as soon as he got put back into the position of showrunner tops all of these in terms of his levels of incompetence and stupidity. Doctor Who's Chris Chibnall was the first call Russell T Davies made after return. The showrunner teased his excitement for the new season. Russell T Davies has revealed he first called former Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chibnall after returning to helm new seasons of the sci-fi series. In a post celebrating the return of Stephen Moffat to the timey-wimey world of Doctor Who, after it was announced he had penned an episode for the forthcoming season 14, Davies joked that Chibnall ran off to write his new novel before he rang Moffat. It is, of course, brilliant. Beyond brilliant, it's an absolutely mesmerising episode, he wrote on Instagram. I'm lucky and proud and honoured to be working with Stephen Moffat, the great man. Stephen was the second phone call I made after getting the old job back. The first was Chris Chibnall, but he sent love and kisses and ran off to write his new novel. So stand back, get ready and travel with the Doctor and Ruby to the most dangerous world you can imagine and antelope moment drums. Chibnall took over the BBC sci-fi from Moffat in 2017 and introduced Jodie Whittaker as the 13th Doctor. I always knew I wanted the 13th Doctor to be a woman and we're thrilled to have secured our number one choice, Chibnall said at the time. Chibnall is best known for creating ITV's Broadchurch and was also the head writer for the first two seasons of Doctor Who spin-off Torchwood. Some say Moffat destroyed Doctor Who long before Chibnall took over, but even if we take Capaldi's last season, which was very preachy, at that point, the fandom was still pretty happy, and the show still had a bright future. When Chibnall took over, that's when we saw a really big change, and not for the better. The Timeless Children then came along, which is still an unforgivable revelation, as it disrespects the entire history of Doctor Who, again, for identity politics purposes. People who were willing to give Jodie a chance were happy to have her stories be totally disconnected from the rest of the franchise, as season 11 sort of set the foundations for, but Chippenall needed to secure his place within the franchise forever, so that's why he came up with the Timeless Children. They say that insanity is defined as doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome, and this fits perfectly with Russell's first decision being to invite Chippenall back. Chibnall wrote stories for both the RTD era and the Moffat era. He wrote 42, The Hungry Earth, Cold Blood, Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, and The Power of Three. Stories which aren't highly regarded, and in the case of some of them, they are hated. Same goes for Torchwood. I think there were some gems in there, but for the most part, it was a deeply flawed series that never really found its footing, which is a shame because it did have great potential, and there were those episodes that really did show off what we could have gotten if the quality had been consistent throughout. So, with all this being said, why would RCD want to bring Chibnall back? His stories are awful, they just are, and his era was the worst period in Doctor Who history. He hasn't magically become the best writer on the planet since he left. Getting him back on board would only cause further failure, and any sane person looking at his work would notice that in a second. Also, don't forget that the reason why RTD was offered to come back is because the show was cancelled. Yes, Doctor Who was cancelled because the Chippenhall era killed it, and RTD was seen as Doctor Who's last hope, so why would he phone up the guy who effectively caused it to get cancelled? The Fitzroy crowd are as thick as thieves, aren't they? Tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.